All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna show you five things not to do when you go bowling. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about here is don't do what everybody else is doing. So sometimes it's so easy to fall in the trap on trying to do what other bowlers are doing. We have seen many times that not because these bowlers are throwing urethane or they're bowling on third arrow, that's gonna necessarily work for you. Everybody bowls different. So you always gotta try for yourself whatever works for your game. And then after you test what you're used to do, then you decide what's the best option to do on the lanes. All right guys, so the second thing that we're gonna talk about here is don't just do what you did the last time. So this is very common in bowling. Whenever we had a great series, either like we shot like our first 600 or we shot our 700, we get that impregnated like in our minds. So every time we go bowling, we try to recreate that. But the thing with bowling is that uh, the lanes are gonna change. It doesn't matter if it's the same pattern. If it's Monday and then you go next time on Tuesday, the lanes are gonna be different. So you gotta be open-minded and you gotta be able to adjust to whatever the lanes are asking you to do. So for the competitive bowlers, uh, it's very important to always come with a fresh mind whenever you come to bowl. Like in practice, make sure you, you test different bowling balls, different areas of the lanes, and also be prepared because the lanes are gonna change. It's gonna be transition. So you gotta be ready to make those adjustments and don't get caught up and then get a stock and therefore bowl a bad game. All right, and if you're a recreational bowler, be willing to do some changes, not because the the last time you went bowling and you did great throwing it a certain arrow that means that's gonna work again like be willing to make some changes and be prepared because bowling it's always changing all right guys so the third thing that we're gonna talk about here is don't overhook the ball and ball so as bowlers the one thing that we like to see is seeing our ball hooking the whole lane but in reality sometimes that just not gonna work, it's gonna be harder. So the easiest way to get your scores up is keeping it simple. And sometimes keeping it simple means throw it straighter and try to find the way that just looks better for you. Sometimes playing uh, uh, not as steep angles is gonna work better, it's gonna be easier. The simpler, the better. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about here is don't lose focus on your spares. So it's very common when you're bowling, you get a bad break and then you just go throw it as hard as you can and sometimes it ends up with a missed spare. So the easiest way to achieve your goals either by average or being consistency throughout a league is by making your spares. So you gotta pay attention to that. Even if you get a tempting, if you get a bad break, you gotta shake it off make your spare and then if you want after you make your spare you can get as mad as you want after that but focusing in your spares is a key to be consistent and it's going to help you to reach your long-term goals throughout the league or throughout the season and if you're a recreational bowler the easiest way to beat your bodies and get your score up is not by throwing a strike it's by simply making your spares all right guys so the fifth thing that we're going to be talking about here is the mental aspects of the game. So one of the easiest things when it comes to a mental game tip is having a pre-shot routine. So if you are consistent with your pre-shot routine, it's gonna be make it easier to repeat shots. So remember, the goal of this game is repetition. So the easiest tip that I can give you if you wanna repeat more shots is be consistent with your pre-shot routine. All right guys, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Hey, Benji, what are you doing? Get off the forklift.